hey guys welcome to my channel so guys in this video i am going to explain you about how is doctor appointment system and also a hospital management system okay so this application is built on laravel and using mysql database so now guys let's see how many pages are there in this doctor appointment system so basically as normal pages home page and about us page then contact us page and login and registration page okay and here you see guys which is departments which is about the hospital departments like neuro department orthopedic dental ent and so on if you want to add on more you just need to go to your admin dashboard and add on okay and here you can just search for it guys like here i want to search neurology or ortho so you can just type here o so it will just find that two results from that okay so if you want only ortho hit enter and here you come okay so let's reset and then guys you can just view that neurology and inside that you find all the doctors linked so neurology doctors are here and you can read more about them so here are all the details and all the timings available for that particular doctor and if you want you can book an appointment also so book appointment here you have to log in and then continue booking if you want to choose other doctor you can just select with that and here are the basic details about the doctor and here is the consultation fee so now guys let me just log in as a normal user so at gmail.com so if you have not registered just register and then come back to login okay or else you will be automatically logged in once you registered now guys i'm going to log in now so here after successful login you will be redirected to your appointments page that number of appointments you have done okay so now let us go to departments and i'm going under neurology so i'm going with the doctor ohm and book appointment here so we see all the timings like what are the timings so here you see today november 4th which is saturday and then sunday and monday so on this sunday you don't have any and here we have 1 to 10 to 1 pm and then again second shift 3 to 6 pm here on the saturday we have 9 am to 1 pm that's it there is no second shift okay and now guys we are going to book for the 10 am and you can just confirm by providing your details so yep i want to provide my phone number something like this and click yes so it will place your appointment perfect so here you see that our appointment is placed this is to today appointment and it is booked so you can view the appointment that this is the appointment you have booked so now guys uh, let's go back again here and user can set up their profile also change their password and for the support you can contact these details and these details are not static this is coming from the admin dashboard okay and here is the logout button if you want to log out so you find here also in this drop down your profile and appointments okay and now guys coming to this find a doctor so here it's basically directly you can find a doctor so here i want to find a neurosurgeon doctor so type neuro so here you'll find oh dr ohm is available for that neuro okay and you can continue again booking that same view that's it so guys here you see that this slot is already booked okay because we have just now booked it right so if you want to book this slot again you cannot book because it is already booked and coming back to second appointment then you can continue with that okay so i'm not going to book now now guys you can get back to this book appointments so it's basically again searching for the doc doctor and booking an appointment so let's click here book appointment so here you have see that we have already booking for 10 a.m and you can select with others so what in case if i select other doctor here just book appointment here you see on november saturday and sunday you don't have any appointments but on monday you have these two appointments okay in two shifts so all set guys and now let me log out and log in as an admin so let's log out here perfect let's go to login and let me log in as an admin at gmail.com password one two three four five six seven eight hit enter so you have logged in as admin let me just open this in a new tab the website view and here's the admin dashboard 
okay so in in our admin dashboard you see all this analytics and all the appointments you see here you can view that appointment so this is today appointment guys so you are able to see now and you can view those appointments and you can see all that application detail patient detail and your appointment status now let's get back again here you can select the date and filter and what is your appointment date type is it going to be the created date or the appointment date what you have selected okay so according to you can filter it and here let's click on create appointment here you see we have a list of doctors and you can just click on this it redirects you to the next page next tab and shows you the appointment okay so if you admin can also do the appointment booking go to this department so what is this department is nothing but your uh, website departments here so you have list of departments in the hospital right so these departments are added here edited updated deleted also so now guys let's move to this doctors so if you want to add doctors for this particular department you can just add that so select your department urology orthopedic any doc any department and just fill the doctor details save it so after saving you'll be able to see in this view doctor list and here guys you can see all these details about the doctor so if the doctor has filled his timing you can view his timing let's click on view and here you see like shift one shift two on monday so he has that is average consultation time okay so all things are done for timing and now guys let's edit with view doctor so if you view the doctor basically it's going to next tab and viewing the doctor detail and then guys you can just edit also edit and delete the doctor so you, if you come to edit and here you find your active and ban doctor so if you want to like ban the doctor uh, he cannot log in to the website like he cannot come here he cannot log in because he is banned and this active and inactive means it is showing here so if you just in is active right now which is this dr ohm so if you select an active update here so right now you see it is unchecked the active part so just refresh so here you see that doctor is hidden so in that case this is active part is used let me make it active again and he will be visible here perfect so guys okay so guys now get back and again just see with the edit option here and here you have view patient so in this view patient you'll be able to see that particular doctor ohm has these many patients and if you go with with prakash filter so here you'll see no patients right now and similar goes on so now guys you can just come to this patient tab and select the doctor that's it and view its patient and here coming to this manage admin you can add more admins like if you have more staff just add them and they can manage all the things and then guys coming last to the website setting which is about the website setting from this pages okay so here you see on the top nav bar you have phone numbers and email right so all these details are filled here and which was the contact information also let's go to contact us so here you find all these details these are from this website setting itself okay and these are uh, doctor app domain and your copyright title doctor logo so you can just update it will change here okay and here you have footer part these details are also from here only okay and this copyright title here you see at the bottom done guys so that's it from this uh, admin side let's log out from here or you can just log out from here itself no worries so let's click log out and now guys let us check with one doctor part so let's log in as a doctor here so let's log in as a doctor doctor ohm at gmail.com i six seven eight password perfect so guys here you can see that particular doctor has how many patients how many appointments future appointments completed appointments okay so you can just click here appointments and all appointments so this dr ohm dr ohm has one appointment that we have created just today itself you can view its detail and also doctor can update the appointment status like he want to cancel or completed or patient 
is not available like patient did not arrive so you can update that status and your consultation fee is pending or completed you can just select that and update it that's it and you can write a simple comment and just update so in my case i'm going to mark as completed here payment also is completed and yeah little issue with patient okay and just click update so it's done so here you see all that status are updated that's it guys and if the doctor wants you can update the customer detail also yep and now guys you can just go to appointment history you can select the date and just filter it everything so right now if you come in all appointments you will be able to see that the status is completed and once the date is crossed then it will come in appointment history okay so now guys let's move to patients that particular doctor has these many patients then doctor can update his profile details everything here upload his images and then coming to this timings so here doctor can add his timings so you can select monday shift one so select the start time end time and how much average consultation time okay and click to add and here you see that saturday has one shift let me add and show you saturday saturday shift i'll keep the same and let's change this timing to 3 pm okay and 15 minutes let's click on add here you'll be seeing that time added and it is shift one. Oh, it's added on sunday guys let me just add again the sunday itself on the shift one and let's add from 9 am to 13 am okay not am pm perfect now guys minimum time 15 minutes let's click on add here you will see uh, sunday is already added for shift one so you cannot add that right so you can just all the validations are also done for the timings okay and these timings will be shown on your front end side so we have added a sunday right so let's go on the doctors departments or just go on the find out doctors so i know that doctor name just book appointment here and you will be seeing that on this sunday we have a 12 pm to 3 pm this many shifts okay average consultation time is 15 minutes so if you want to just change that consultation time edit and update the consultation time so i want to keep as 30 minute just update it timings updated now you can get back refresh so here you see it just changes done guys and then you can get started with the changing password and finally log out so guys our doctor part is done let's log out and yep so this is about the hospital management and also the booking appointment system in php laravel application okay so guys this is for sale so right now we are selling for cheap price so you can purchase it okay so guys this is all about our, our doctor appointment system and the hospital management system in laravel framework so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe and do purchase this application thank you